Hello, welcome. This is Karakers YouTube channel and today we will be reviewing bunch of engine code readers. The engine code readers are simplest form of OBD2 scanner. They don't even have batteries. All you have to do is just plug it in and it will read you default codes and show you bunch of other data. Okay, so I have six different code readers and to me the good engine code reader should be able to read engine codes clear them, show you readiness monitors, live data with graphs and freeze frame data. So we will try each of them and see which of these scanners can do all of those things. All of them are from 20 to 60 dollar price range. So they are not expensive but they can be really useful. For those who never use OBD2 scanner this is how you connect it. It has this plug and all you have to do is look for the plug in your car. Almost in all vehicles it will be under your dashboard. I cannot feel it anywhere here so if it's not here it will be in the interior fuse box which is here. See here is the OBD part. Just take the code reader. Plug it inside. If you don't turn your ignition on, this scanner won't be able to communicate with your vehicle. And before I show you all of them, I know that when we are first using these tools, it can be confusing. And that's why I have this full beginner's guide. It will show you how to use it, how to solve connection issues, how to read engine data. So definitely go check it out. It is in the link in description. Okay, so let's check the first one, the King Bolen settings, DTC lookup, it will show you description for OBD code. A lot of scanners have this lookup, I think it is not that important because you can look up more detailed information about each code in the Google. Everyone has Google, so this is useless feature. But I mean, if you work somewhere without internet, you can get at least some description. Okay, so when you go to diagnostic menu, you can already see the MIL status, check engine light is off. We have one stored code, this DTC, CNT means that it is current code. You can also have pending codes on some vehicles. We have three monitors OK, we have zero incomplete monitors and we have eight monitors that are not available in this vehicle. These are the readiness monitors and they are in every vehicle to check your emission and exhaust related components. These monitors, even when you go to state inspection in the US, they will also check the status of your monitors. And if you have more than one incomplete, you would not pass the emission state check. Now we have menu, read codes. Okay, so this scanner can do it apparently all. We can read codes, start code, DPO 400, exhaust gas recirculation flow. So we have some kind of fault in our EGR valve. The scanner can also erase codes. Don't You don't want to buy a scanner that cannot erase codes. This reader cost me like 20 bucks and can do everything apparently. It can check live data, can even do data logs. So record live data, it can leave the scanner plugged in while driving and it will record the data. If we go to this all data stream, now we have all this data. The engine is off, so they are not changing. And I don't want to start the engine because I am inside the garage. And also this is diesel engine, so we have less live data. On gasoline engine you will have more data like fuel trims, data from your oxygen sensors and bunch of other items. Now let's check if we can display those data as graphs, which apparently we can. No, because when you are trying to look in this engine data to find some fault in your engine, it is much easier to look at graph than text value. These are available data that can be displayed as graphs. Okay, now I need to go back and it should display the graph. Okay, so this is map, pressure in your intake manifold. Pressure is not changing because throttle is closed. Scanner can also display freeze frame data. We have one code, PO400, and these are the freeze frame from that code. So live data from moment when the code was stored in your ECU. We have also a bunch of other information about vehicle, like VIN number and calibration ID for your engine control module. I give this reader a pass. It can do everything, read and clear faults, show readiness status. You can see live data, even in form of graphs. You can see freeze frame data. Everything I said that good code reader should have. Only thing that bothers me that it is very light, but you know, that is not a functional issue. Okay, the next code reader we have is Ansel AD310. Let's check if it can do the same. And also from the Ansel, I have the more expensive model, Ansel AD530. So once we are done with this, I will also show you why is this one better. Okay, so what we can do here is read fault codes, live data, readiness, so and even the freeze frame, so it does have it all. 
what I want to look at is if it can display live data in form of graph. Apparently it can, because you can choose to view all items. This will be text values. And you can also view some data in form of graphs. The Ansel 310 can display live data in form of graphs, but what pisses me off, when I chose the map data, it will show me the RPM. Menu has some kind of mistake. So if I want to see the map data, I need to choose ECT, which is one above. See, I will choose ECT and it will display me the map. Now I have the map. I don't know if this is issue with this particular one or if all models have this problem, but I think that will be issue just with mine. I can also try to update it. You know, you can update software in those code readers. They usually have the USB-C port and you can connect them to your computer and update them. But apart from that, it can do everything from our checklist of good engine code readers. It shows freeze frame, readiness status, everything that I said that code reader should have. Okay, now I will show you the upgraded version of this Ansel. This is 310 and this is 530. It costs two times more. First of all, you have this battery test. It will measure the state of your battery. It shows voltage. If I want to start the vehicle, I don't want to start the vehicle inside the garage, but if I start it, you could watch the graph for voltage. And if you see that during the startup, the voltage drops below 10 volts, you know that your battery needs to be recharged or it is bad. Okay, so we can do this battery test. Now I want to look at those live data to see if it has same problem as the other Ansel scanner. So data stream, view graphic items, intake manifold absolute pressure. Another thing why this scanner is better, you can actually select three different live data graphs at once. With other version, you could watch only one graph at a time. Okay, and it gave me same exact map, RPM and vehicle speed. Those are the data I selected, so it does not have the same problem like the other Ansel scanner. Okay, so you can watch three different live data graphs at once. I mean one graph, but three different values. It is better when scanner can read at least two live data points at once, because you want to watch that correlation. So for example, you can select RPM and mass airflow sensor, and you want to see if the RPM increases, the mass airflow should increase too. Or you want to see oxygen sensor one and oxygen sensor two data at once, if you have gasoline vehicle. You know, two or more graph values at once are just better. Here you can watch three. Obviously this scanner has every feature I had on my checklist. Read arrays codes, readiness, freeze frame. Okay, so you have all these monitors with status either OK or not available. I don't have any faulty monitor. Another thing why this Ansel is better, when you read codes, okay, I have this code PO400, but you can press this information button on scanner. And now it will also show you possible causes for the problem. Okay, so it will display live data better and it will check your battery. And you also get some more information about trouble codes. I showed you the three code readers which I use. And now I have three that I just bought. And this will be the first time I am using it. So we can also check how user friendly they are. Let's start with this launch reader 3001. Okay, we can start by diagnose. Now it is connecting to our ECU. Again, it shows readiness monitors, DTCs. We have one code. We have three OK monitors, seven incomplete. So it does read codes. It can even erase them. It will show you your monitors. And now we can check the data stream. But it seems that it will not show me live data graphs. And it is displaying me only for live data values. Because we saw on other scanners there should be like eight values. Okay, so Creeder does show less live data, at least for this Renault. We have only load, ECT, map and RPM. It does everything from my checklist except live data, which is probably the most important function of this scanner. Let's check the freeze frame. Wait, now when I go up, the freeze frame shows more data, but it just isn't reacting. It is so slow. Okay, let me try one more time. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. Let's check data stream. We can try one more time. Okay, up, nothing, and down. It shows all the data, but you have to press the button harder. Okay, it is displaying all live data values as it should, but you have to press this button so hard and <laughs> that would be really annoying. And it also doesn't show live data as graphs, only text values. Okay, so this is launch reader and we can try another one. 
Okay, so I tried to plug in the moto power, but it just won't start for some reason. I looked if there is some start button, but no. Okay, so I am in different vehicle. This is Toyota. And we will try if that was just the issue communicating with the Renault Kango or if it doesn't work. So let's plug it in. It is working, so it just cannot communicate with that particular vehicle, which is fine, that can happen sometimes. Well, actually, the issue was probably not that it cannot communicate, but the OBD port on the Renault Kango is weird. There is like plastic cover on the outside and it probably just couldn't reach the pins or something. And I like the screen on this one, it's nice and big. Okay, I forgot to turn on the ignition, it already says fail to connect. Now I turn the ignition, let's press OK. Now it should be able to connect. Okay, so already we have the readiness monitors. We can read codes, erase codes, view freeze frame and real time curve should be the graphic displaying of those live data. Okay, now I am outside so I can actually show you these graphs. Let me choose the engine RPM for example. Let's try stepping on the gas pedal. Yes, and it will show you the real-time graphs but only one graph at a time this one have probably the best screen out of them all okay so it will show you those live data graphs it displays only four data as graphs I am sure that Ansel was able to show like 10 different graphs so there are only few live data values that you can watch in graphic displaying but this reader is cheap it costs like 25 dollars and for $25, even if you have just few, it is still pretty good. I mean, I really like this code reader. It's not bad, but I would probably rather invest in something like the more expensive Ansel. The one that can display three different live data at once in graph. But I mean, it's not bad scanner. I have last engine reader and that is black tech for 20. Okay, so it asked me to choose language, English. Unit of measurement standard. Okay, I don't, I won't read that. Okay, so right away it will display default codes. Press back button to view freeze frame data. So it will also show you the freeze frame. We have battery test and it can apparently do alternator test. Okay, how do I go back? So this red button is erasing the DTCs. This will read codes. This will display the live data. Let's see if it can display them as graphs. So it's, it does seem that you cannot read live data graphs on this screen, but you can read it in your app. But I try to download the app and it says it is not available in my region so it doesn't really help me if the app can read those live data as graphs if I cannot download the app okay but this seems like I kind of like this scanner it seems a little different maybe if you are in supported location for the app like US this could be interesting scanner because usually all the engine code readers are pretty much the same but this one seems different it also does this alternator test and I am sure if you are able to connect the app it will have more functionality okay so we have tried all of these engine code readers if I have to choose the best, it will be definitely the Ansel AD530. It does really everything from my good code reader checklist and it even does battery tests. And it will show you multiple live data values at once, which can be a big help when you are working on your engine. The King Bolen YA200. I also really like this one. It does everything you need. Moto Power also very good. We only have this connecting issue to this particular vehicle, but I am sure that is the rare case. The cheaper Ansel also pretty good. It does everything, so I really cannot say anything bad about these four ones. And the other two that are left are Black Tech and Launch Creeder. The Launch Creeder, I mean, navigating those live data was pretty hard. You need to press these buttons really hard, which can get annoying. I am putting the Creeder on the end of this list. And Black Tech, it seems interesting, but before you buy it, just make sure that you can download their app, because I wasn't able to. I am from Eastern Europe and the app is not available. Okay, so now you know which code reader should you buy. And I'm guessing you are a beginner in OBD and car repair. Once again, this is the OBD2 beginner's guide. And this book will really help you understand the basics. You get readiness monitors explained. You have OBD2 codes explained to more detail. And also you have every live data explained. For example, this oxygen sensor 2 voltage. If you can display it as graph, you can use it to determine if your catalytic converter is in good shape. And the page like this is for every live data. You have mass airflow sensor, intake air temperature and bunch of other data. 
The book will also teach you how to work with advanced scan tools that can check used vehicles for faked mileage or unlock new features with ECU coding. The book and all of the scanners are linked in the description.